What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI with another Dell Precision T5500. Gonna be a CPU upgrade, show you how to do that. So you're gonna move the side cover panel. And again, so there's a little clip right here, secure clip. You're gonna press it down like this, and lift it up. Now you're gonna remove the memory shroud right here. This is what keeps it cool airflow so you're going to remove that now you're going to use a this is a Phillips head screwdriver and there are two screws here in the top and two in the bottom Now you're going to lift up the heat sink and all you need to do is get a paper towel and uh, I'm going to be using 90% uh, 91% rubbing alcohol and you're just going to apply it to remove the old thermal compound from the CPU now I'm going to put this side back on and I have to remove the old thermal compound from the heatsink CPU cooler and to do that you will need a and what I'm going to do is install like this so you guys can see and use a you can use a debit or credit card you have and you're going to scrape off the old thermal com compound off do not use a metal device, just use a debit credit card. Like this is good enough. It comes out really easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take again the rubbing alcohol. and remove it that's good enough now you're gonna put the heatsink back and remove this old thermal compound like this I'm gonna close it up so it doesn't get into the motherboard now you're gonna lift this up back And you're going to remove the CPU. And guys, I'm going to be using a processor, uh, will be, I can't see, okay, so it's a 5660, it's a 6 core, and the way you're going to install it is, I see the corner right here, let me see if I zoom in the camera, see, I think the camera will zoom in, okay, see where the corner is right here, 
on the motherboard there's uh pointing out the same arrow right here that's how you're gonna install it the same way right here so that will be pretty easy see right here the pointing arrow and there's a pointing arrow right at the motherboard right here on the corner you guys can see right there so that's how you're gonna install the cpu back Now you're gonna take a, I'm gonna take a thermal compound and just apply it right in the middle, not too much. That's good enough. And you guys can use the Arctic Silver 5 or Arctic MX2 or MX4. Those are like the, the those are like the best uh, thermal compound I like. So you're gonna go in and back install the heatsink. The way you install it back is. Uh, you see this is where the sticker is going to be pointed that way left and uh, this one's right here where you see where it kind of little bit edge it's going to be to the right because if you try to install this way it would not work so the sticker see right here while it's straight and this one's like cut right here on the side it'll be in the right side like that so you're going to align the heatsink back And you're gonna, I'm gonna start off one screw over here in the bottom and one in the top. So it'll be installed properly. And just check, make sure they're not loose, the screws. Now I'm gonna install back the, the memory shroud. And install back the side cover panel. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.